Hey y'all, it's been a while since I posted up a video. I know y'all miss me. Y'all been hitting me up in the inbox, but your girl is back, okay? Now I posted up on my wall recently where I've been, but I am gonna post it in this video. So make sure you stop, pause, and read. And I also wanna thank all of my supporters for giving me this opportunity to be able to step away from YouTube and go out into the streets and protest and make a difference. I appreciate y'all so much because it was definitely an inspiring, changing moment that I'm glad that I was able to be a part of. And I'm glad I have a job that I'm able to just step away for a second and you know use my voice somewhere else you know what I mean not just using my voice on YouTube but using my voice somewhere else and I definitely had that opportunity I thank y'all for that I went to Atlanta I was in Florida and I was tempted to go to LA but I was like nah let me get back to work because I know y'all want the tea because y'all been hit me up in the inbox so I am back and don't think for a second that I'm gonna stop contributing to the change. I'm just gonna do it in a different way. I was able to do it last week through expression. Now I'm gonna be able to do it financially. So here on out, starting with this video, I'm gonna contribute a percentage of the money I get from the videos and be able to donate to African-American organizations because so many things have happened and it's changing slowly but surely and I'm just so appreciative of what happened thus far. But now let's talk about Funny Mike and Jalea. Recently they were seen together on Lovey Dovey and it looked like the couple might be working things out and Jalea might end up moving back to Houston. Now remember I told y'all when her and Funny Mike broke up she moved back to her hometown Louisiana and got her own place but she might end up going back to Houston now that her and Funny Mike are back together which is a good thing. Funny Mike is able to see his daughter. He also has another child on the way so it's good to have this family back together so I hope everything work out for them. Now let's talk about Chris Sales and his baby mama. Not Queen but his new baby mama allegedly. Now we're not 100% sure if this is his baby she says that she's 100% sure that he is the father but it looks like Chris Sales is not convinced that this is his child so they really haven't been communicating he hasn't even acknowledged the situation but his mother recently did I'm like I wasn't there I don't know about no baby I mean I mean well I know about the baby but I don't know if it's his baby but hey if it's his baby he's gonna be loved but they checked me hard <clears throat> He's going to definitely be loved. Trinity's happy. Trinity's like, I'm going to be an auntie again. So, I'll answer that question again about the new baby. Um, um, you know, it's... He's going to be loved, you know? If all is well, he's going to be loved. That's, he's going to be received. Um, I keep in touch. If that's what y'all want to hear, I do keep in touch. I have been, I have. Oh, thanks, Miss Wanda. If that's what y'all want to hear, I do, I do keep in touch. I'm not that type of person. You know, whatever their issue is or whatnot, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I do keep in touch. Now let's talk about Queen Naja. Queen Naja recently came out with a song with rapper T Grizzly called Mr. Officer, which the song was based off of police brutality and how people of color are treated unfair, which a lot of people felt like Queen Naja shouldn't have been on the song. A lot of people were bringing up previous comments that she made about women of color. They even brought up a video that she did with Chris. Queen has addressed this situation on Twitter. Make sure you stop, pause, and read. These are the tweets. One of the last things she tweeted, she said, she said, I don't have a PR, so I'm not doing damage control. I'm saying this from my heart. I put this on my children. I have nothing against dark skin women I don't think I'm better I think all women are beautiful I've said dumb ish and I'm sorry again to anyone I offended now there were several tweets like I said make sure you stop pause and read because I can't get through all of them because it's gonna make this video super long but make sure you stop pause and read she did donate five thousand dollars as well as just hilarious spoke up for Queen Naja here's what she had to say I see that uh T Grizzly and uh what shorty name got a new song together Queen Naja Got a new song together. All right, it's about police brutality. They like, oh, ain't she a colorist? Nah, we don't want that. I go, I ain't see one good comment at all. It's a cause. It's for a cause. He shouldn't have got her to do that. We want Lauren Hill at a time like this. Well, we'll be next year waiting for Lauren Hill to jump on a track for it. Take, take what the they giving you. Somebody can have one incident, my and y'all can, and y'all just, man, what? And then y'all pick and choose who the f 
y'all want saying a lot of the same comments. Do you know why? That's not because great minds think alike. That's not because everybody feels the same way. All will go through and see what another mother said, and they might not even been thinking that way. But because they keep saying that, she's a colorist. She's a colorist. She's a colorist. Oh, remember that time she? Oh no, we not forgiving her. Ain't she still canceled? Stop, stop posting her. Why y'all blogs keeping her famous? Nah, man, get the out of here. Ain't she? She don't even want to be black. People want to be black, but don't want to be black when it's time to be black. Shut up. Think for yourself. Because that's not even how you was feeling until you kept reading it. But no, nah, you don't want nobody to jump on your neck about your uncommon opinion. Because that's not what you... Ain't nobody going to see what you really thinking in the comments. Because they're scared to say what the f*** really is. They're scared to say, oh, I like that song. Because back then, I guess she did some colorist shit. Get the f*** out of here. If y'all cancel everybody for one mistake, who the f*** we going to have? Y'all ain't got no f platforms. But y'all keep trying to cancel everybody with a f platform. That shit is trash. When y'all the ones that built us up. <laughs> but y'all the people. Y'all my people. What is you talking about? Why every time I say something or anybody say something that y'all don't agree with, y'all straight man, you cancel. Why you give up? Why the f y'all give up on, on y'all own so fast? Desi Banks, he say something. Y'all cancel him. That was the first time B. Simone made a mistake or whatever. It ain't even what she said. It's her response. That's why I got in trouble so many times like that. Because because of my response. So let's check the inbox because y'all been up on the T. So let's go into this. Okay, let's check. Let's check. This is by Beauty on a Budget by. Now this is Jasmine Jade, which this is Pretty Boy Fredo's child's mother. She said, the worst thing I deal with is being called a name instead of mommy when i get my daughter back disrespect is beyond me now beauty on the budget said it don't look like fredo and jasmine are together i think the whole getting jasmine back was fake for the camera for jasmine i'm gonna be perfectly honest i've seen previous messages from jasmine where she posted up certain things about fredo but i'm confused because one minute she like him and one minute she don't mother's day she posted up a nice message randomly she posts up nice messages when it come to fredo and then she's back to not liking him and she posts up messages like this so i really don't know what's going on between the two and that's why i haven't really reported on this because i don't want to mislead or tell y'all something and then she posts up something nice and y'all like oh no she likes him again and <laughs> you know what i mean like i really don't know what's going on between the two and y'all have been keeping me up to date in the messages and i wish y'all could see half of the messages that i've seen which i think this is going to be a new thing i'm gonna start doing which is opening up my inbox so y'all can see what i see because someone did say in my previous messages that y'all felt like him and alexis never broke up like they only did that for camera and trying to make it seem like they're not together but really they are together y'all leave y'all comments down below let me know what y'all thinking on that whole situation if y'all think fredo and alexis is still together if you don't know who alexis is i will link the previous video now this is from 37 more days i'm not sure if it's a birthday but if it is happy birthday okay 37 more days to your birthday i want to tell you happy birthday but she sent me trey and asenia are pregnant which i told y'all this tea already chris already spilt this tea actually i just happened to report the tea but he spilt the tea that link is popping up but congratulations to them she tweeted it feels good to finally announce i'm expecting a bundle of joy didn't want to keep the thought of you hidden any longer i might be saying your name wrong but nana bella sent me almost the similar messages oh she definitely went in with the messages oh i think this is the young lady that said oh i'm gonna send you all the tea that you missed she ain't never lied she's literally sent me every tea she said may 31st riley made a fan page account getting bashed again by ddg fans she promoted the account on instagram and said that she wanted to see how fast she can get to 10k followers well the comments were not having it 10k get riley to zero followers riley's been canceled you know that well riley her mom and her brother were not having it they went in the comments they said that riley worked hard for ddg day and night to the point that she was sick and still worked after it was clear she had no feelings for ddg he treated her like it she signed her in hopes that there will be a couple that is bad business y'all are loyal to him give her a chance she could have made a video for money but she made an eight minute video instead Ooh, i wish you would have had actual receipts but it's okay i'm glad you did this thank you very much i appreciate that uh kayla had a birthday photo shoot and had an outfit full of glitter on her body i'll show you the picture kayla posted this picture and people were body shaming her saying that her was shaped like a teardrop she has a 
YouTube, etc. Kayla did not like the comments and posted another picture with this caption. I'm just gonna stop and pause and y'all read because I can't actually go through this whole post, but just know Kayla is a reader. Uh, four, Corey posted up a picture and someone commented, upload better content, and Corey reacted not doing YouTube anymore, which I heard about this. He just said on a live that he's gonna post up a video, stay tuned, so I think he was just in his feelings. Chris went on YouTube making a video saying that he couldn't see CJ anymore and that it's sad that he can't see his son, how he is a good dad to CJ. I don't think Chris Sales can't see his son. I think he just can't see his son right now because of the pandemic and the protesting. It would be kind of a risk to send him from Atlanta to Houston right now because of everything that is going on. So I think that's a little bit of clickbait, but I also think being that child service was involved, you kind of got to be a little bit aware of certain things that's going on. I don't think Queen want to take her son from Chris Sales. I think she's just trying to protect CJ at the end of the day and make sure that he's good. And you got to understand that certain things should not be going on while you have your child. Like if you want to party and go out and do different things, make sure you do that when you don't have your child. You can't get your child and then want to still go out and party and have people in your house and knowing that it's a pandemic and it's different things going on. So I, I think that's a little bit concerning for a parent. If I was queen, that would be a little concerning to me. Oh, Lauren Love, I saw this. We're happy to announce that we're pregnant with baby number three. I'm 15 weeks already. I did something different this time and surprised Joelle and it was so hard <laughs> to hide it from him. Michael said, why all toxic relationship having babies? No comment. I'm not gonna say nothing. Babies are a blessing. Um, It seems like this is the baby season because Bianca from the Prince family, Trey and Asenia, Joelle and Lauren, Funny Mike and Jalea and Corey tweeted recently that him and Carmen could possibly be having a child as well. I don't know how true that is. They said that they're working on having a child, which a lot of people didn't give great feedback, you know, especially being that they literally just broke up last week or the week before that. So a lot of people don't have good feedback when it comes to that situation on them working to have another baby, but hey, you know, I don't have nothing to say when people want to have babies and they know they're not in the place that they should be as far as relationship wise. All I can say is congratulations. Leave your comments down below and until next time, peace.